Williams, mate. Second line, Oscar Pearl, El Sutro, Abandon Milano, and Cracker Bits on the outside. Second line now coming up. Oscar Pearl boxed away with El Sutro, Abandon Milano, Cracker Bits. Thank you, Paul, as the green light goes through. The power is on the bunny up to the boxes. The Graham Potter's direct stakes at the jump. Ready? Up and running, came out. Good sunrise, Ben on the inside. He's got the pace to try and hold him out of the judge the first time. He will do so. Into second place, El Sutro. Getting along the inside, Oscar Pearl, Abel Seaman, as they're about to travel to the back straight. And then out wide was Cracker Bits. They were followed by Brimsmader and well back Van Ridge. They travel out of the back straight. Sunrise bent the leader, El Sutro, a length away. Avondale Milano starting to run home well as they travel to the turn. El Sutro moves to Sunrise Band. Soon comes away, El Sutro, to be down in second place. Place Oscar Pearl, Avondale, Milano, and then came Cracker Bits. They were followed up by Abel Seaman. Sunrise Bets stopped quickly with Van Ridge, and one of the last to pull up was Brim's mate. A winner number four, El Sutro, finishing too good for them. El Sutro by El Gallo Goga Sutro, <coughs> owned by Georgie Cliff and trained at Kersley by Tom Halley. Second to number two, Oscar Pearl, Bentley side money for Louise McGee, found the line good and Avondale Milano, Kellys and Mike Rowley for Wayne Vandenberg. And number eight was third, and that was Cracker Bits. Those numbers, four, two, six and eight, the time of 30 and 26, the winning margin one and three quarter lengths with a neck between second and third, and the official numbers, four, two, six and eight, 5.03, 17.63, and the run home time of 12.63. Four, two, six and eight.